before I started Lemon Squad, I was a mechanic. So I looked at cars both to certify them and also I looked at all the used car department's cars as they came in to make sure they were good cars. Mechanical breakdown analysis, that's an inspection that's done on behalf of extended warranty companies. So if you've got an extended warranty and something fails, you take it to the dealership to repair, and that warranty company won't pay, it, pay for it unless they've sent somebody out to verify the failure, okay? That's what I knew. I didn't know pre-purchase, you know, I didn't know any of that stuff, I knew that. So as a mechanic, I got around 25 years as a mechanic, uh, ASC certified master tech and I would see these guys coming in and doing these inspections I'd, I'd be working on a car and I'd see that the tranny was bad and then I was told not to work on it because somebody else is coming to look at it first and once they got out and looked at it and did the thing I got to do my job and that'd be that but I thought to myself god that'd be fun to do so I started doing those inspections and I ended up being able to quit the dealership and, and do those types of inspections I made a really good living better living I've ever had just doing those inspections but the way my brain works is I could do this. I could go to the warranty company and get this work direct because it's a middleman that gets this work. The warranty companies don't have their own inspectors. They use inspection companies. I started doing that a little bit, but I needed a system uh, built, a website to, to manage all this. You know, the warranty company could view their reports and, and whatnot. And I had somebody do it for me and he couldn't get it to work right. So, but he got it working for pre-purchase inspections. <laughs> And it just, well, okay, let's do some of those. We started doing pre-purchase inspections. Uh, the money was way better in pre-purchase inspections. A lot of companies out there doing warranty, warranty inspections. So the market was pretty tough to get into that anyway, but nobody was really doing pre-purchase inspections. So it didn't take all that long before we were the biggest inspection company in the country. It's been rewarding. We, we look at a lot of cars for people. We save a lot of people. We make a lot of people happy, not only saving them, but also getting them into their dream car, you know? They're, we get a lot of people that come out and uh, want to use our service because, you know, maybe it's a guy in his 60s and, you know, when he was younger, he had that 65 Mustang and he wished he'd ever sold it. So he's found one again and we go out and tell him how great it is and that he should be buying this car that he found. So Lemon Squad gives people peace of mind. There are times, even like the used car inspections where you go and the dealership, will, the salesman, and it's usually a small dealer. He'll say, I'll give you 500 bucks if you give this car a good deal, you know, a good, a good grade. I mean, the dealerships can sometimes do that kind of stuff too. Hey, just tell them this trade is bad, even though it might not be. Very rare. It's extremely rare. Both of those things are extremely rare. You would think it'd be more common that, the, that a shady dealer would say, hey, give me, I'll give you 100 bucks to give it a good grade. You would think it'd be more common, but it's not. It, it seems like it should be, right? But it's not. They'll, they'll, they'll be very quick to lie about the condition of the car, but it's very uncommon for them to offer us money, but it has happened. We do a lot of inspections for bank loans. We don't say we look at boats, but man, we look at a lot of boats uh, for, for loan companies. And RVs, RVs, we do tons of RVs for, for banks, and they're all terrible. We find issues on just about every RV. We've looked at brand new RVs. No one's lived in them yet. Lots of issues. Right off the right off the factory line, they 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 come with issues. Previous experience with my wife and I, we we bought many RVs. They always have issues when you first buy them. You've got to get through all those issues, and then once you're done with that, you can enjoy it a little bit. But there's always going to be more issues coming up. We're probably getting close to on year 15. So 15, approximately 15 years ago, we started out as auto nerds. I don't know, that's the best I could come up with at the time, auto nerds. And we found out pretty quickly uh, from a lawyer out of Seattle that there was a company called Auto Nerds. And they did not want us to use their name on a national level. They sold something to do with uh, diagnostics. And they were kind of a slow company, not real big, didn't get a lot of work. And then when we started doing national uh, advertising, all of a sudden the phone started blowing up. And, and it was for people needing inspections. They weren't real happy about that because they were first time in their whole history of being open, their phone's blowing up and it's people looking for us, not them. So we came up with the name Lemon Squad and that, that probably was, in hindsight, probably a better name. So one of the things that I've always been pretty good at is I've always been able to call people all across the country and somehow talk them into doing work for us. You know, whether they trusted that we we're going to pay them or not, they, they just kind of put their heart into it and said, yeah, let's do it. And they got paid and it kind of spread. And, you know, now we've got so many people that, uh, you know, come to us and, and uh, apply with us. We don't, we don't have to do a lot of that anymore. But I was cold calling the whole country looking for good inspectors uh, in the beginning. And it was tough. You know, you could think about it. The whole country 
had to be covered. Every square inch of it had to be covered. It's the hardest part about the job was to do that. When we first started, we, we said we'd be there within three days or so. We had to be. It just, we had to be. We didn't, it wasn't like we had a week. The cars would sell. We definitely sped up because we've got better guys and we're always looking to replace guys that aren't performing well. So maybe they're not doing a real good job or maybe they're, they're a little bit slower on getting out. They're not as motivated. We can't have that. We, we're looking for guys that are really good at doing inspections and they can get out there and get them done in a timely manner. In the very beginning, when we started, I would do phones, uh, talk to all the customers, called in, took their orders. I would watch over all the inspectors, review every single order that came in before it went to the customer to make sure it was all done right. And in the very beginning, we didn't even have a website. So we were doing it all through email. I would email, you know what's like emailing 150 pictures to somebody? It's hard enough to email 10 pictures because of the size. It was tough. The role has evolved because we've got a better system and I don't have to deal with customers as much, which is good. I wasn't always the best at uh, dealing with customers. You know, that wasn't my, my, my strong point. My title is GM these days. I've sold the company to Wrench and that was two years ago. And I had a two year contract to stay with them after I sold it. And towards the end of the contract, maybe seven months before the contract ended, I talked to my wife, I was gonna start another business. And for what I've got going with them, I, I'm enjoying my role so much more now than I was as an owner. Owner's a real stressful thing, right? You're dealing with lots of customers, lots of things, lots, you know, just stuff that I, I needed a break from. But with my role now, uh, I, I, yeah, I talked to Casey and asked if I could stay on after the two years and he said I could. I kept it pretty small, the, 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 the core of Lemon Squad. We were big, we were doing inspections all across the country, but I kept it small as far as the office and we had remote offices. As we grew, that, that got a little trickier. When, when Wrench bought us and started putting more people into the picture, it's gotten way easier to manage and run now. That's one of the things I like about it. It's, I don't have everything on my shoulders anymore. We have people that do, do phones. We have people that review jobs. You know, we have people that assign the work to the inspectors. We have, we have recruiting that gets inspectors in. I used to do all that. It was a lot of work. Basically, just about every car we look at, we find something wrong with it, even though it's, it could be really, really minor. Most people can use our report, go to the seller, and use that report to negotiate a better price. It's real rare for them not to get at least the amount they paid for the inspection, and most of the time, much more off the price of that car. Right now, I need you to check out Auto Tempest at the link in the description below to find whatever car you're searching for. They make Car Trek possible and they've been a supporter of Benwicky for the last four years. So please check them out now to find your next car and support them for supporting us.